Hello dear student, welcome back for unit 3, lesson 3 for another subject which is describing change. So let's see what is describing change and what is the forms of describing change. First of all, we have the use. Describing change is used for talking about or describing some actions or sequence of action. So it's used for talking about an action or, descri or some actions or we can say uh, a sequence of actions. We use two forms to describe change. So we have two forms for describing change. Let's see what are the forms. First of all, we have verb plus adverb. Verb plus adverb. When we have verb and uh, plus adverb, we use this rule. Subject plus verb plus adverb, which is with ly. And also we have complement. Okay, we have complement. The second rule we have, when it is asked about adjective plus noun, adjective plus noun. When we have adjective plus noun, we use this rule. There has been plus a, plus adjective, plus noun, plus in, plus subject, plus the rest of the sentence. So we have two, these two forms for describing the change. And in the sentence, the, the, the sentence asks us to use verb or uh, verb adverb rule or adjective plus noun rule. Also, we have another so, uh, rule for the adjective plus noun. The plus is plus a plus adjective plus noun plus in plus subject and plus the rest of the sentence. So we, we have two options uh, for using a adjective plus noun. Either it is first one or the second one. But you need to ask to use verb adverb. So only we only have one rule for adverb and adverb. Let's see in examples. There has been a steady rise in CO2 level. There has been a steady rise in CO2 level. So the sentence asks to use verb plus adverb. Verb plus adverb. So we use the first rule, which is the sentence became CO2 level have been rising steadily. CO2 level have been rising steadily. As you see, we change steady to steadily. Why? We, see, we, see, we change to from adjective to adverb by just adding ly to the end of the word and also have been rising, which is shown in the rule. The climate has been changing quickly in the, in the last 10 years. This is the, another sentence, but th this time is asked to use adjective plus noun rule. Adjective plus noun rule. So the sentence became like that. There has been a quick change in the climate in the last 10 years. There has been a quick change in the climate in the last 10 years. As you see, we have there has been, which is shown in the rule. We have a quick change, which is the adverb. Uh, I mean, adjective, sorry. Also, we have in the climate, which is the noun in the last 10 years, which is the rest of the sentence. This is a. Uh, the rule of adjective plus noun. Temperature rise slowly. Another sentence. Temperatures rise slowly. This time is asked to use a plus adjective plus noun. So the sentence became there is a slow rise in temperatures. There is a slow rise in temperatures. This subject is very easy. We just have to know what is the rules of verb, adverb, and adjective plus noun. So you can uh, solve or uh, change the sentences very easily. Now we have some changes. Okay, We have some changes of the adverb to adjective and adjective to adverb. So you have to know that what are the changes. Verb plus adverb to adjective plus noun. So when we in the sentence, uh, we have rise or rising steadily, it became a steady rise. Increased rapidly became a rapid increase. This one is adjective plus noun, and the, the first column is verb plus adverb, which is ly. Decreases slightly, it became a slight decrease. Remain steadily became a steady remain. Fall or fell slowly became a slow fall. Changing quickly became a quick change. Run fast became a fast running. Speak gently became a gentle speech. Work hard became a hard work. Fall slightly became a flight, a slight fall. This, these are the changes from verb to adverb and to uh, adjective to noun.
So when we have a, a verb plus adverb ly, we can change to adjective plus noun like that. And also we can change from adjective plus noun to verb plus adverb. This is all about describing change. Now we have the summary of this lesson again. We say describing change is used to define an action or sequencing of actions. We have two rules, okay? Subject plus verb plus adverb, ly, and plus complement. Also, we have uh, there has been plus a plus adjectives plus noun plus in plus subject and plus the rest of the sentence. The second rule is used for uh, adjective plus noun. And also we have another rule for adjective plus noun, which is there plus is plus a plus adjective plus noun plus in plus subject and plus the rest of the sentence. So we can use these three rules for describing changes according to the demand of the sentence. I hope you understand the subject very well. Thank you very much for your listening.